Hello everyone. Welcome to the another video of the environment variable series. In our previous video, we discussed what is an environment variable and how to access the environment variable in the code. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to create user defined environment variable as well as how to test the code that uses the environment variable. To create a user defined environment variable, you do not need to do any kind of a declaration and initialization. You just have to call this API and pass the user defined environment variable. In the current scenario, when I execute this class, I'm going to get the null value for this environment variable because in the current environment, the value of this environment variable is not set. To specify the value of this environment variable, we can use the run configuration. So just do a right click, run as run configuration, go to environments tab and add the environment variable and its value. So now when I execute the same class, we are getting the value of the environment variable. To demonstrate how the environment variable are used in the code, I have created a class. Inside this class, there is an API called getData. In the implementation of this method, I'm using the rest assured framework for sending the get request to an endpoint. And the value of the endpoint is fetched using the environment variable. So let us call this method inside our main class. we are getting an exception and that is because we did not specify the value of this environment variable. Again, I will go to the run configuration, add a new environment variable and specify its value. So now we are getting the response. Let me go ahead and write a test class for this class. Inside this test class, I'm going to create the object of the class that is under test. After that, I'm going to add two test method inside this class. For this environment variable, I can pass any value and the rest assured framework is going to send the request to that particular endpoint. For this environment variable, I am going to pass a value that is a valid endpoint. And for our testing purpose, I am going to use two different endpoints. So the first test method is going to use this particular URL and the second test method is going to use the second URL. So using the object, I'm going to call the API that is get data, capture the response and add the assertion. And let me run this test class. When I run this, it will fail because 
we did not specify the value of this environment variable. So to specify the value of this environment variable, I need to create the run configuration for this test class. Even after creating the run configuration, only one of the test is passing because we have two different value for this environment variable and based on the endpoint URL that is passed, the assertion is changing. So the other way is to create multiple run configuration and every run configuration will pass a different value for this environment variable. But this is not a feasible approach because let's say if you have 10 environment variables, in that case, you will end up creating 10 different run configuration and it will become more complex if you have multiple values for the environment variables. So creating multiple run configuration is not a feasible approach. You can also use the other framework such as Maven and Gradle for executing the test and you can specify the value of the environment variable from the command line while executing the test task. So that is also not a feasible approach because if you have 15, 20 environment variable, then you will end up passing all those environment variable from the command line. And also the drawback of creating the run configuration is that if I pass on this project to some other person in the team, he has to recreate all those run configurations so that he can execute this test on his system. In this scenario, the best approach would be somehow if we can set the environment variable values directly from the test and reset its value once the test execution is over. To accomplish that, I'm going to use a framework and this is the JUnit extension framework. This framework provides annotation using which you can restore the state of environment variables as well as you can set the environment variable value directly from the test. So let me show you how it is done. First, we need to add the Maven dependency of this framework in our project. After adding the dependency, the next step is to use the annotation that is restore environment variables. This annotation is very important and it must be used with the test class in which you are manipulating the value of the environment variable. This annotation makes sure that once the execution is done, it is going to restore the state of the environment variables. To set the value of the environment variable, we will use the set environment variable annotation. And in this annotation, I will pass the environment variable name and its value. Similarly, with this test also, I'm going to use the annotation set environment variable and specify the different value for the environment variable. Now let me put the debug point inside this API and run this test class in debug mode. So now both the test method are passing. So as you can see here, with the help of this framework, how easy it is to set the environment variable values directly from the test and restore the state of the environment value back to its original state. And this framework is really helpful to test the piece of code that rely on the environment variable. This framework also provides a lot of other feature also, which can be helpful in writing the unit test. That's all for this video and thanks for watching.